JMP video, we are here and Ice Cream Team is about to witness the arrival of the South African warship and they chose no other country but to be here first in Ghana and I'm quite privileged to be part of this process, don't know about you but for now, let's suspend the in-depth detail and go find out more. South Africa celebrates Armed Forces Day on 21st February every year. Back in the areas of the 18th, 19th and 20th century, wars, battles and struggle for lands, settlements, power, gold and others. Amatala is one of the biggest South African warships. The Amatala was named after the war in 1851 in South Africa. This year's celebration of the Armed Forces Day was held in the Amatala. 2017 marks a century of commemoration of the SS Mendy on 21st February 1917 and the bravery of soldiers that failed and sacrificed their lives. So how are you doing today? No, I'm good. Just welcomed the Amatola, which is birthing here in Ghana. We'll be here for the next uh, four days. Okay, so the worship is called Amatola. Am I getting it right? Yes, it's the Amatola. It's uh, named after the Amatola War, which was a war for liberation where the Kosa people were fighting against the dispossession of their land in South Africa in 1851. Oh, okay, so it was created in 1851, but land is a warship, is it? Yes, it is a warship, yes. So it was created, it was created basically because of the war? Mm, well, it was uh, created for our Navy. It is part of our fleet in the South African Navy. Okay, so it was created because of the Navy. Um, please, have you been to any other country apart from Ghana? Yes, they left South Africa to attend the 100 years commemoration of the sinking of the SS Mendy, which sank in on the 21st of February 1917, when they were going to the World War uh, in France and when they were going through the English Channel south of the Isle of Wight they were hit by another warship and the uh, SS Mendy sank and uh, 616 men, African men, died uh, in that ship. Okay, so it was created in memory of those people? Yes, uh, we have uh, the Armed Forces Day that we uh, celebrate every year in South Africa. Uh, on the 21st of February, we commemorate uh, the SS Mendy and the bravery of the men that died in the SS Mendy. And so this year, last year we celebrated in Accra, in our residence. This year we're celebrating it in the Amatola uh, on Friday, tomorrow in the evening. So tomorrow we'll be commemorating our Armed Forces Day, remembering the SS Mendy, uh, celebrating the century of their bravery, and uh, also saying uh, we're celebrating the peace that we're now enjoying in our country and in other parts of the world. They have been to Germany playing war games with the Germans. Those days it was war with the Germans. Today it is peace. They have been to the UK to celebrate the centenary after the World War. Today it is peace. We're working together as nations for peace and development. So proud to what you were saying. I hear you carefully saying that Accra, Ghana, Accra, Ghana. Is it because you have an alliance with this country? That's why you are here? Have you been to Nigeria, all those West African countries? No, I am the ambassador. Yeah, I know I'm you are the ambassador to Ghana. So there is another ambassador in Nigeria, so I must talk about Ghana. Oh, okay. But the SS Matola, Matola, as I say, started in the UK and then they went to Germany to play those games celebrating the centenary and they are here, it's part of that centenary and from here they will be boarding again in Equatorial Guinea on their way back home for two, three days again 
Uh, they will also be having a diplomatic visit in Angola and in Namibia before they go back home uh, to Cape Town. Okay, now the big question. Um, to be part of this Amotala regime, Amotala um, process and everything, do you have to be part of the naval force before? Yes, uh, the people who see there, they are all soldiers and members of the South African Defense Force, members of our Navy. Okay, so I see you dressed all white and looking all nice. Is it an attire you chose for today or is an attire for the Amatala procedure, celebration or something? Well, it's part of the celebration for peace, for victory and uh, for development and the good relationship that we are enjoying between Ghana and South Africa. Thank you very much, madam. It's been wonderful having you on iSchool TV, and we hope to see you again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and the crew I've on board at the moment is 176. Uh, we participated in exercises with the Royal Navy, the German Navy, um, and we've made a stop in France for refueling as it is at the moment, and we've just come back from France, or rather from Spain. Uh, we'll be here for four days. Um, the weekend primarily is uh, focused towards diplomatic uh, visits. Um, we're going to do a bit of community uh, work with uh, some children on Saturday, and then hopefully we can set up some exercises with the Ghanaian Navy for Monday before we depart for our next port of call is um, Equatorial Guinea. Is that it? No problem. The Amatala Royal Ship is 14 years old. It carries a crew of 170 members, which include a contingent of the Air Force and the Marine Squadron. It also has different departments, such as the Health Department, Boarding Department, and others. It carries different types of weaponry, sophisticated and state-of-the-art. Uh, my name is Captain Francois Roux. I'm the commanding officer of the SS Amatola. Uh, we are the South African Navy's first Valor class frigate. And um, we've come to visit Ghana as part of a, uh, an exercise, a joint exercise that we're having um, in the South African National Defence Force, uh, which covers European waters as well as the African West Coast. Um, the ship left on the 16th of January this year um, as part of an exercise we call Exercise Ketane. Um, the main focus of the exercise was in fact to commemorate the sinking of the ship SS Mendy. Um, we sank on the 21st of February 1917, uh, so we sailed all the way up uh, to commemorate and to pay homage to the, um, to the brave men um, who died on that tragic day. As part of that, uh, we were privileged to participate in operational sea training at Plymouth in the UK, as well as a big exercise that we have with the German Navy called Exercise Good Hope, or the destroy exercise that took place in the Baltic and the North Seas um, a few weeks ago. And uh, then we came back down and we refueled in um, Spain and uh, we, our first stop in the African West Coast is in fact at Ghana. And the main purpose here is to uh, continue to build on the good diplomatic ties that we have with the country of Ghana. Uh, and we have good military relationships with, uh, with the Ghanaian Navy particularly. And um, so the idea here is that we are going to do exercises with the Ghanaian Navy on, uh, on Monday when we depart. Uh, we've participated in some football. And today on Saturday we are going to do a, a community project uh, with some school children coming to visit the, uh, the ship. And hopefully we can uh, enlighten them about life in the military um, and to um, tell them more about uh, what it means to serve your country um, and to sacrifice for your country. Um, after this we are going to do a diplomatic visits down the African West Coast. Our next port of call is Malabu in Equatorial Guinea. Uh, after that we are going to do another diplomatic visit in uh, Luanda in Angola. And the final stop before we go home will be in uh, Volfus Bay in Namibia. Uh, the ship will be back in South Africa at the end of April. Uh, we say we're looking forward to being back to our families. Um, as you can imagine we've been away for two and a half months already. Um, and we are really looking forward to getting back home. Uh, before we left, we had a number of objectives that we had to achieve. achieve and uh, so far we've achieved every objective um, and we are very proud and honored uh, to re represent the South African people um, on this long deployment. The ship itself, um, she's now about 14 years old. Uh, she was built in Germany. Uh, she's the first of four uh, that, we, that we built. Uh, we have another four. Uh, we call it the Valor class frigates. Um, and the, ideas is, uh, well, the idea behind the name is really to uh, commemorate and acknowledge um, valor that has taken place in battles that have taken place in South Africa. Um, Amatola is the first one, um, then we have Istan Dwana being the second one, the third one is and the last one um, called SAS Mendi, which actually 
um, is the, the name itself is, refers to the SS Mendy, which is a big tragedy in the history of uh, South Africa. Uh, the crew at the moment is 176, uh, myself included. It, uh, con it includes a contingent of the Air Force, a uh, contingent of the Marine Squadron, because part of our diplomatic visit, we're also um, participating in a maritime security strategy, strategy um, with all the countries of Africa, and uh, we're hoping to build on the relations, the relations for that and to build on the maritime security strategy on, uh, as, on the African continent itself. So on day one, I told you it was much interesting to find out about the South African warship, which is the Amatola. Well, yet more to find a lot more from this gentleman here. I think he's part of the Navy. So how are you doing? Okay, um, quick question. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Amatola? Okay, the Amatola is one of the frigate Bala FSG uh, Bala class that was built in Germany. Uh, These are the new frigates that we've been operating with on our waters. Uh, the Amatola, uh, the name was given by our uh, former president's wife, uh, Ms. Mrs. Zanelin Begi. The name symbolized came from the Great War of Amatola uh, Mountains in the Eastern Cape. So that's where the name came from. So it is to symbolize bravery from the great men that were fought during that Amatola war in the great mountains of Eastern Cape in South Africa. Okay, and I, I learned South Africa, you have about 11 official native languages. So which language is the Amatola? In Amatola, the official language is English. Uh, that is the media of instruction. However, they are, uh, all the languages that you mentioned of 11, we all have them here, of which I'm at Swana speaking. We have Kosa speaking, we have Zulu speaking, we have Stronger speaking, Venda, Africans, English. So all of them, those languages on board we have, but when we communicate, we communicate in English. Thank you very much, sir. It's been wonderful having you. You are welcome. So after having a chit chat with the captain, I'm here already with the two lieutenants. Or are you all? Okay, I didn't get that, but let's take it away. I welcome you guys on High School TV. Um, we are here to find out more about the warship. So um, I see an helicopter parked out there. Why is it on the ship? Okay, uh, first things first, I'm a boarding officer and I have my team, my team with me here. So I'll be more useful if you ask me questions about my team. But the helicopter is um, a detachment also that comes to a ship when it sails. It's, uh, it's meant to be here, that's why it's there. We have Air Force Department, Air Force crew that's responsible for that uh, piece of equipment for air surveillance and everything else for emergencies they assist us with such things and as for ourselves i'm lieutenant mavuma sub lieutenant mavuma the boarding officer of the marines squadron this is abel simon Makaga, one of the team members and we'll be happy to show you our display and tell you a bit more of our responsibilities on board the ship when we sail on the high seas Oh, okay, let me throw this question to him here. Um, this is a warship, the Amatola. Have you ever used it in a war before? <laughs> to give you an honest <clears throat> and a straight answer, no. We have not seen or tasted war of, of any kind. Okay, so it was done in memory of people who sang some time ago. It is named after a fight or if I may say a battle that happened back in the day. So the ship was named after that battle. It is not the only ship that was named after a battle, but since that is the ship in question, yes, this ship was named after a battle that took place some time ago. Oh, okay. But you know, earlier on you were saying that you wanted to do some display. Can we see the display? Okay, no. Equipment display. Equipment display. Yes, we are a boarding team. Do you know what is a boarding team? No. All right. I, I would we like to small, be educated. We are a small infantry team within the Navy. We are detached to the ship to seize piracy out there. 
to stop anything that is that is in contravention with with um, the maritime laws we stop anything that's not supposed to happen on the high seas so we do boarding boarding would mean leaving this ship and going to the next vessel that is suspicious and finding out what is it that they are doing and clearing them off okay. so do you know how to swim Yes, of course, you should be able to swim. Our job requires us to know how to swim because to go off from this vessel to another vessel, we use a ladder down the side of the ship. So if I slip and fall, I should be able to save myself in the water and jump back in the boat and carry on with my duties. You understand? Okay, right. over to the display now. All right. Okay. Um, this is our equipment that we use, basically. It's not everything, but it's what we have at the moment. This is an R5. It's our primary weapon that we used for, for boarding. It's disassembled. These are the parts of the weapon. We, this, we have this radio, Hytera radio, for communications. What you do is, when we leave the ship, we leave one of the radio with the ship so that we have communications with them. We tell them what's happening where. This is our helmet to protect us from any hazards as we as you know climbing down the ladder uh, is dangerous so if you maybe hit the side of the ship you're still protected or for is that, is that a set of scope this is an this is a um, excuse me what is this this is a night site when we do late night uh, ex, um, duties when it gets late and we're still out there so we're able to see things at night it's a night site yeah it's for night vision yes this is a knife we use for close combat no for close combat if i must get in trouble now and i've lost my weapon then i can sort you out with my knife yes this is a nine millimeter barretta it's our secondary weapon so we, call, we carry both the primary weapon and the secondary weapon i'll leave the half to my colleague okay so you can continue um so <laughs> what is this one um, we call this the SS-77. It is uh, the younger brother to the light machine gun, the LMG. It is belt-fed and it fires up to six, and six to 700 uh, rounds per minute. This is our platoon weapon. It's more of a support weapon. Like if you go out as a section, we'll have two guys, uh, gunner number one and number two, who will be handling the, the LMG. We call it the LMG in any case. So we'll have LMG one and LMG two. So what it does is it gives fire support over our heads while we infiltrate on foot. We put it on a high position. Let me not get to the, to the technicalities now. But this is the SS-77. Yeah, the, the younger brother to the light machine gun. And these gloves, these are gloves we use uh, mainly and mostly for boarding and fast roping. As, as my lieutenant has already said, uh, that we specialize in fast roping and boarding. You know, and she explained what boarding is and what we do it for, so I will not go into that again. So that's what this is. And as she already said, uh, this is the same as that. It's, 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 a, it's a nine millimeter Beretta semi-automatic. It loads 16 rounds, but you can load 17 with one up, you know? Really? But it loads 16 nonetheless. <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> it is, it is, but it depends. I mean, I always say guns are not dangerous. They are harmless until they are held by somebody's hand. So people are dangerous, not weapons. Okay. Yeah. She already explained what this is. It's the same as that weapon that's disassembled behind you there. Oh, okay. It's our R5 assault rifle. I will not get into it because she already explained it as well. It's just that there, it's, dis it's disassembled. I was hoping you would ask about the pieces that are there, okay. what this is and what that does and what that doesn't do. But nonetheless, you did it, so I will leave it at that. Yeah, this is uh, our boarding kit. It's our... Okay, this is the belt that comes with uh, a holster for the 9mm. Remember, she told you that we carry both weapons. Yeah, when we do boarding, we holster the 9mm and then we use the rifle. Unless we come to confined spaces, then we, we, we change to the 9mm. So this goes around our waist and around the legs like that. It just makes us look, makes us look scary and professional.